So when you're in need of more custom scraping that comes with a click, um, there's a software that I use that is one of my favorites to get this done. And it's kind of hokey to use it. It's kind of weird. It's like this, this tough software. So um, I would say if you can't do it with this software, you should probably just go to Upwork or another platform and just like ask somebody to scrape the data for you. As a you know salesperson, marketer, sales technician, I'm calling it now, that you you have to have your line where you say to yourself, hey, this isn't worth it for me to do anymore. Um, I'm not going to take care of this. I'm going to offload this to a more technical person. And so if you use this tool and it doesn't and you can't figure it out, this is kind of the line that you should um, offload it to somebody else. And so we have the HubSpot directory here, which if we wanted to scrape the HubSpot directory, we open up Instant Data Scraper. We're scraping it. Um, but we're not getting everything that we want from the page, right? We're getting their link. This looks like we're getting their website, but we're not getting the website from everybody. So this doesn't seem that great. So then we click in and then we see like their whole uh, section here. We see their reviews. We see their website. We know that they're remote. We get like the actual things that people say in their reviews. And this is the data that we really, really want. So in the scraping world, this is called clicking in to a scrape. And there's Chrome extensions that do this that I've never been able to, to figure out. And so I'm just gonna show the solution I've been able to figure out. This is a desktop app called ScrapeStorm that I've been able to throw crazy stuff at uh, ScrapeStorm and it's worked really, really well for me. And so um, what I like to do, so you there's a smart mode where you could just get started and just jump right in and start using uh, this stuff. And so if you hit get started, then boom, we can jump in here and it's gonna automatically detect the data on the page. And so um, it auto detected, well, it says failed, but oh, it auto detected the, and it failed on the pagination. So we're gonna have to teach it how to page. Okay, and we'll go over that. And so basically, the first thing that we want to do is we want to line up and get the reviews when we click into this. So it auto detected the page type. There's either a list page or it's a detail page. List pages are like this when there's lots of structured data and it's the same every single time. There's a list. That, that's exactly what this is. Um, the next page is going to be a detail page. And so in order to get to the next page, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the column here and we're going to hover over this and we're just going to click this button over here where it says scrape in. So we'll hit scrape in. And now we're, we get a preview of this um, page over here. So now it correctly selected it as a detail page. So now we have the opportunity to add fields. So if you try clicking on anything, it's gonna like say all of this stuff to you. So you say, got it, whatever. What you actually wanna do is you wanna click add fields to the right over here. And then you're gonna get this magic wand button. We're gonna hover that magic wand over the visit website. It's going to say, this field contains a URL link. Would you like to scrape it? Yep, that's what we want. So we'll hit, it'll say visit website here, but we'll get the website um, from them. Then if we want their about section, we can just hover over the whole about section. We could get their whole about section so we could feed it into ChatGPT. And then if we wanted like this person's review, right, then we could get their review, feed this into ChatGPT and say like, who is this review from, right? And so... Um, yeah, this is how you would map it. Now we need to go back though. And like I said, we need to fix the pagination problem. And so it says auto detect fail because it couldn't detect it. So when it says next page button here, so in pagination with like scraping, there's either a next page button or it's a scroll to load. Scroll to load is very obvious because if you keep scrolling down and it loads more data, then it's scroll to load. Next page button is really great because, um, well, no, it fails to detect that this is the next page button. So we're, all we're going to do is we're just going to click select button. We're going to click next and now we're all set up. So now we can just let it run. We'll hit start. Um, a lot of this stuff doesn't really matter. You can just hit start. There's going to be some stuff that I'm going to want to talk about in a little bit. So now we're just letting it run. It's hitting it. It's doing all of the clicking and then we're going to get some data from this. Yep. So we got blue leads. Um, smart bug should be next. Yep. So we know it's going in order and see how we keep getting the websites. And so as we're setting this up, you just want to make sure that you watch this, watch it paginate through like three pages. That's like, uh, so then you know that it's working and it's doing everything. So I think there was like 50 results on each page. So we'd wait until 50 to get there. But for now, we're just going to pause it 
and we're gonna click on edit. So what this tool can also do is it can scrape things behind a login. What I will say is do not try to scrape LinkedIn with a tool like this. Um, just don't even mess with it. Like try not to scrape LinkedIn yourself, like as much as you can. Just outsource that. Don't, don't do it yourself. Um, you can get your account banned and just don't do it. But if you are trying to scrape a company that has a login, um, this platform can take care of that. Um, and see how it says pre-login right here. It'll open up a page for you and you could essentially like click around and log in and do everything that you need to do. And then it'll save what just happened. So I just clicked architecture. Imagine if I just logged in though, I click login succeeded. And now I've just like filtered it. Oh, it didn't keep architecture. Usually it does. Uh, I guess if it doesn't change the URL and like your cookies, it's not going to keep it. But anyway, you can do a pre-login over here. What you can also do is you can solve captures um, with this platform as well. And so you basically would just come in here and you could solve the CAPTCHA manually. They also have the ability for you to solve CAPTCHAs with like a, a provider. So this one's really good for that as well. This, like I would say though, like their, their support docs are really not that great past like just like scraping data and then clicking in and then bouncing out and scraping the next one. I really wouldn't recommend this. This is getting to that line where you should probably just outsource this to somebody more technical than you um, because they're going to be able to rip through it way faster than you just trying to figure all this out. Just go to Upwork and literally just post a scraping job. Um, but Scrape Storm will be able to get you a good ways there. And then the domain for it, I think it's just scrapestorm.com. Yeah. And so then this is scrapestorm.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, you'd be able to get the download, all of this stuff. And this is what I basically use. So, yeah.